How's it going, adventurers? Seraph here. We are about to, well, be mind blown by how many butterfly wings are going to get. And it seems to be infinite. I have not had a stop to how many I can gather. I'm at 347, as you can see right now. By the way, this is a pretty decent way to get luminescent spine as well. I think it's possible you could combine the two into one. I'm up to 528 of those. But 347, that's what we want to focus on with the butterflies. Now, what you want to do is you're going to come to Tian Shu Valley here in Liyue to this teleportation point. I mean, you could go to that one too if you want to, but I recommend this one. A little uh, word about this location. There is a ton of boar for meat, a ton of foxes, um, a ton of like little squirrels and uh, well, what else? Enemies. There's a ton of enemies. So when you first get here, maybe hunt around get any of the boar and uh, foxes and all that stuff uh, probably some birds too but not too many on that just mostly the meat take out all the enemies that are going to be a problem for you this will be the area that we're focusing on down here so there, there's like some fatui down here you need to get rid of need to get rid of and there's some um, well sonic the hedgehog as I like to call it when we first teleport here that is pretty annoying some enemies around here, some slimes and such. Oh, yeah, there's some slimes right here. But this area is all around an amazing area for a lot of stuff. Down here, there's a lot of lizards you'll find. And I think along the pathway, too. But uh, we're focusing primarily on butterflies. And I guess we'll check out the fireflies, too. But for sure, you can do infinite butterfly farming here. Now, what I want to do, first of all, is point out... It seems to be tied somewhat to the time of day. Typically, what I do is I put it around this time. Or you could do it right at sunrise. You don't have to wait, I guess, for the sun to rise. But it's weird. The butterflies seem to be tied to this time. Okay, so... Um, usually I just sit here and wait. And when the sun has risen, so I, so I know, basically, that it is morning. Uh, or dawn, or whatever. Sunrise, daybreak, whatever. Then I go, and I will go to this menu here. And just I'll let it sit. Maybe five minutes, something like that. Go do something else, uh, maybe check something out on my phone, whatever, and then I come back, and I'll go exploring around, and I will find a ton of butterflies. Oh, here we go, we're already getting some. Uh, where'd that lizard go? I, I missed the lizard. It'll be back. I missed the butterfly too, where'd it go? Okay. Oh, we got fireflies still. Like I said, uh, this might be a really good way to get fireflies too. Oh, there's a lizard. Eh, he'll be back. The lizards don't respawn, but there is a ton. I'd say you get 15 or 20 of them in, in all going around. Okay, so the sun's starting to rise. I'm just going to go do a quick look around on the shoreline here for these butterflies, because there should be some already here that I can grab. And like I said, I cleared out a lot of the enemies around this area, so they wouldn't be harassing me for this. So I went and did a lot of clearing. Okay, so the sun is rising. I mean, you can tell just visually that it has, but if you look there, timing is just about perfect. And what we're going to do is, like I said, we're just going to wait. Because for some reason, the way this game works is everything... I heard a lizard move. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, rats. It'll respawn, but I heard a lizard take off. Might want to turn up your volume. They hide in the grass, but you can hear them scurry. Helps you find them. At least the first time. Then you got to wait for them to respawn. Okay. So, we come up here, and like I said, we just, uh, we just go walk away for a bit. Five minutes or something. So I'm going to do that, and I will be right back, and, uh, we'll go from there. Okay. I am back. I've given it about five minutes or so. Um, let me go into the inventory just to show you. Still at 347 on the butterflies. Now what's important to note is when you go into the Paimon menu here, it stays the same time of day, but stuff goes on in the background. And the thing about butterflies and fireflies, they take time to spawn in when you're in an area, basically. Um, they take time to spawn in. And the reason I go into this menu is enemies won't be an issue, but the butterflies, butterflies and fireflies and stuff in the background is still going on. So let's see if we've got any to, to uh, spawn in now. On, I farmed this area really heavily let's earlier go. the other day. I got like 40 butterflies. Oh, here we go. There's already two. So there's two. Um, but essentially, these things keep spawning in, but it requires patience. Uh, it's the same way with fireflies, too. So we'll try doing a nighttime to morning time thing. But for some reason, this time of day seems to be the best time to get butterflies to show up. I don't know why. 
or at least maybe it's just that I haven't tested it the nighttime portion. We can try that too. But I think the um, butterflies take the place of the fireflies essentially. So I haven't extensively explored this area like really far to the right. It's possible that there could be more butterflies over here. Um, I haven't really explored it that much. I just know that area that I was in over there seems to be the best and it seems to be repeatedly able to be farmed for the butterflies. Now there's other areas all throughout the world of Tevat where you'll find groups of butterflies. So if you ever come across a group, uh, pin it basically because that's an area that you can farm them like I'm doing here. I just like this area because it's pretty chill. It's a, it's a wide open space. The, the grass, they seem to like um, grassious areas. But I know that around Mount Huayne, you know where you get that um, that amber stuff basically break open. I know that there's a lot of butterflies around there near that teleporter. Okay, there's four I think. Oh, and there's a lizard too. Um, lizards you only get once and they take a while to respawn by the way, so. Oh, there's another one. So they're just spawning in right on top of us basically. So, yeah, that's essentially how you want to get these creatures is you you have to get them to spawn in just by being patient. And I would say if you have other things you want to do, you come here, you clear out the enemies, you do exactly what, like I'm doing here, and then you can walk away five, ten minutes at a time, come back, and just farm up all the butterflies, uh, reset the time, and just start all over. I think there's a lizard there. Sweet. You can kind of see that one. But you see, this this is the best spot, in my opinion. Now, I can go a little bit further this way. I think I've found ones over here before, just fluttering around. But I don't want to deal with any enemies, especially ones I haven't cleared yet. Once I start this whole process, I don't want to have that be a thing. Oh, there's another one. Just out of thin air, right in front of our eyes. I love how it's just so tranquil and serene doing this. I find it very relaxing. So, you know, you don't have to do this all the time. There's another one. But whenever you just want to do something relaxed, doesn't require a lot of effort, you can go and stop off here anytime. Now, of course, I had to get rid of some enemies first. I would say if you're going to just stick in this area, the only thing you have to worry about is these three Fatui. Get rid of them, and then just stay in this area. If you plan on... Oh, there's another one. If you plan on going, uh, let's say, up the pathways or stuff like that, you might have to deal with some stuff. There is like a Dendro King Slime that's over to the right in the trees. Oh, there's another one. That's a little bit of annoyance. Um... You can get rid of that one easy enough, you know. Pyro, just get rid of them. There's some boar, actually, that are in those trees, too, when you first are there, so that's nice. Wow, they just keep spawning in, don't they? We already got quite a few. I was gone... Hmm, 20 to 30 minutes. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Wow, this is, this is a good way to end the video, honestly. Getting a good amount of them. Take you multiple attempts to grab at them. So again, you can get the fireflies to spawn in, as you can see. Just gotta be patient, and smash that button when you're <laughs> trying to grab them. Good grief, man. It's so annoying trying to get these things. I'm basically walking at them. I'm not not running. Not really. See, so they, they still just disappear. Anyway, just keep going at them and smashing the button. So, what, we're about halfway through, halfway past midnight and dawn? And we're getting all these fireflies, if you can manage to grab them. No butterflies, though. It's like I said, it's like they take the place of the butterflies. There was one butterfly, but... Man. A lot of firefly. So, I guess you could infinitely farm both. Just depending on the time. Is that it? I was going to say, I thought there was more. Well, there's two more up here. Jeez, they just they just keep coming. And then, uh, the nice thing about this area, too, for farming these is... Okay, that one disappeared into the rock. There was one up here. Remember I was talking about? It's like they go in and out of... Like... <laughs> they go through things. So that one went into the rock somewhere. It's gone. But we got one down here again. But this area being so wide open and everything, it makes it a lot better to, to farm these. They won't um, have that happen as much as if you were in, like, like, let's say there's a part of, um, let, let me just go to it on the map here. 
This area up here is full of fireflies too. But what happens is if you can't grab them, they go inside the rock. Or sometimes they're on top of these points here. And it becomes a pain to get on this area. It's wide open space. You can see where they're going to be. Um, I just think this is bad. Um, that's why I've got it in my title. It says, if I do not respond, I am away from game because I do this a lot. Oh, there we go. Butterfly already. Oh, and another one. And another one. I'm telling you, just after dawn is like the best time. Look at this. But they essentially spawn in infinitely. I got to about 40 last night before I quit doing this. I just couldn't believe that it just kept working. And then I finally called it. In one one time, I had like eight butterflies in one go. It just, they were almost stacked on top of each other around here. It was great. But this should answer the problem people have had. How do I get fireflies? How do I get butterflies? And I didn't have a solution to it. I was trying to track locations and it just proved to be a little too difficult. I thought I saw one there. Proved to be a little too difficult to farm them because you could go here or there for a couple here, a couple there. So maybe that's all I can get for... Uh, nope, here's another one. It's almost like... So it's nine. I tried this other location that I was at. And I got four there. But, it, oh my gosh. Okay, this is hands down the best area. I just got done doing this a couple hours ago. Getting eight butterflies in this area. And now... Well. Alright, here's 13. I'm not saying they turn into fireflies, I'm saying that instead of butterflies, you get fireflies. I highly recommend though when you first get here, you clear out all the enemies first before you try doing this. Oh my gosh, 14. Um, there's like Fatui and slimes and a bunch of garbage that just harasses you until end. I highly recommend you get rid of them first. Oh my gosh, 15? 16? This is insane! I can't believe this! I walked away, I had... How many more can I get? Look at that, right off the bat. Butterfly. And butterfly. Ooh. Time change shifted really weird. Another butterfly. And... Let's see, there's gotta be more around here. There's gotta be a lot more. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, we got another one. Get it before the thing disappears. Let's head on over to this side, look around. And let's uh, on, take a look at our final it. count here. So we are what? Um, I want to say 347 when we started this. We're almost up to 387, so that's about almost 40 butterflies. And the fireflies, that one time I did it, we went from like 529 up to 540. Very, okay, very good farm. Go. Very, very good. And again, it's it's addictive, like I'm going to have to pull myself off of this now to go do something else, because I could just I could just keep doing it. It's just really addictive to... Oh, there's another one, see what I mean? Now we, now we legit have 40 butterflies that we got. Oh, we got 41. <laughs> they just keep coming. It's so hard to stop when you know what you can do here. But um, again, as far as like what they're used for, you could go to the Genshin Impact Wiki Fandom, um, as far as I know, the only thing I've really used them for is to make to make those defensive potions. But let's just look it up really quick before I go. Let's let, let me look that up. Uh, I'll see what it says on that site, and I'll put the link to that uh, site in this video description as well. Let's see. Just type in a few characters. There we go. Butterfly wings. All right auto-populated it. It says you make the desiccant, dustproof, heat shield, insulation, basically potions for defense, like I was saying. And so far that's the only thing listed here, so there might be more uses later to come, but as far as defensive potions go, that's the majority of what it's uh, used for. So maybe you don't need a lot of them. I don't know. Oh my gosh. We're just standing here and two more spawned in. Whew. 
telling you, this is just gold mine for him. Absolute gold mine. And there's another one up here. Unbelievable. So what? <laughs> Getting closer to 50 now. Just phenomenal. And if you chill here too, I bet you could farm infinite fireflies. Wow. They just keep on spawning in. Alright, well, anyways. Gonna wrap this up now. Again, if you like my videos, if you appreciate this, want me to do more in the future, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, and I will catch you on the next one.